Double K Beats, Double K Productions, I am back with you in Pre-Sona Studio 1-4, back with another tutorial. This tutorial, I want to go ahead and show y'all what I have done to mix these vocals down. I didn't show y'all, you know, the melody down and the auto-tune and all that good stuff, because I'm not a singer. I said that in the last tutorial. I'm not a singer. But I want to go ahead and show you how I clean these vocals up. That's coloring, you know, getting the flavor, the auto-tune and all that. But this tutorial, I'm going to just show you how I broke it down and mixed it in to get us to sit well with this two track. So, we're going to go ahead and jump into it. Well, if you're new to the channel, you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post something. Also, follow me on Instagram. It'll definitely be in the description where you can just click and go follow me. Tons of more music there, little bitty videos here and there, stuff like that. It'll be on the screen somewhere too at Ray Dub. Let's get into it. Let's bring up all this right here. And you see what I've done. If 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 you already been tuning in to me, you already seen that uh everything that I like to do. I thought I turned all this off. Obviously I didn't. So, I'm going to turn all that off. And the reason why I'm turning it off because I want to do this instead of, you know, bringing a vocal in and showing you how I do it. I want to show you how I actually mix this down. And with that being said, if I have all these plugins on, I'm not going to be able to accomplish this tutorial for you. So, I turn all the plugins off. That way, I ain't getting no cracking or none of that. If you watch the last tutorial of this song. I did a little bit of cracking and you seen what I had to do. So go watch that video one night and you know what I'm talking about. You got me by me, you know, written by me, the beat is by, I still has to find his name and I'll find it. Uh, let's just, you know, open up the folders and show y'all what I, what I have done. So like I say, I'm not a singer and if you watch that other tutorial, you'll, you'll find out. You already know I'm not a singer. So I beat myself up about it in this tutorial. <laughs> I want you in my lane. What we got is true. That is no lie. I want you by my side. You'll be my bunny. I'm your. All right. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, do what everybody else do. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my melody and my auto tune. That way, you know, y'all ain't constantly hearing the whack, you know, singing. So. All right, now let's jump into exactly what I've done to these vocals. And I, like I say, almost in every tutorial that I show y'all when I go to mix, I use a bus. And there's different ways you can mix something down to get it to stand out with that clarity within the beat. If it's tracked out or if it's a two-track, it don't matter. You got to make work what you got. You know what I'm saying? So... We're going to jump into it, and you see my chain. I'm going to tell y'all, I like to clean up, get rid of. I like to come back, sweeten it up, boost a little bit. like to boost a little bit more, you know, take out some more in the API. Backdoor SSL channel. Good plug-in. Great plug-in. CLA with a compressor. DSer. A little bit of uh, sweetness with the uh, popper and the... Uh, the and another EQ with it, and that's the VMR. Uh, another little EQ I found sounds excellent with a little bit of analog flavor to it. Just something simple to it, nothing too major about it. And then I backed up with the Renaissance compressor on the last chain to give me some uh, to to fix what you know the first compressor didn't do. Yeah, I, I could just say it like that. It's it's the help out the first compressor which is way up here so i like to do it that way like i talked about in another tutorial the c4 i'm gonna st uh i'm using that now this is this is an old mix but i'm using that now that way you know i ain't doing a lot of cutting because you do a lot of cutting it's gone forever and now when you're doing some dynamic you just control it and i i'll get into that in the next uh mixing thing that I done with that plug in uh in the mix. So let's turn it on, bypass it all the jibber jabber. I just had to explain that to y'all. So I want you in my lane. What we got is true. That is no lane. I want you yeah. be my bunny. Yeah. You I... tonight I... no ding. 
keep it real. I like. And I put a little bit of that, uh, some of them highs in it. Normally I don't boost with none of this to EQ, but when I feel like the track is, yeah, when he's that present, uh, see that I go. I don't know, I'm about to fix it. I'm about to fix it, huh? It's tripping. All right, we back. That's what I do. That's why I don't turn no plugins on, because that happens. So we're going to do this and do that. Uh, solo. And now, uh, if I start cracking, I'll do it again. So uh, that's what I like to do. So what I said on the first EQ, I take it out. Take it out, man. Let me let me let me explain this real quick before you know I get into this. A lot of great engineers say this, and it makes sense. Most engineers that have been in the game for so long will do only just do cutting, no boosting, because if you take away bad frequency, guess what you got left? Good frequencies, right? So they do that cutting. That's why that way when they done cutting, all they got is the goodness of the vocals and however it was recorded and all that good stuff. So that's why they say when they just do cutting, they don't need the boost because they got every good part of that vocal or whatever they mixing, the main good parts of it. And then if they want to boost it like I did here, they can do that. But just had to explain that real quick. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. That is no lane. I want you. And you can see here, I did a little bit more uh, subtracting. You know, I like to keep that that bass in my voice. But uh, certain tracks, you got you to gotta, gotta have an ear. Like, if you want, if it's a dark song, you probably won't want all that bass. This is not a dark song. It's just, it's just supposed to be, you know, vibey and wavy and stuff like that. So, I want you. A little bit more of that. Take some of that. I want you. Room muddiness out. Life. What we got no I want you by my side. I'm that mid. Uh, mid range right there between the 2k and the 5 right there 5 to 10k and then of course you know I want some of them some of that highs in there and normally uh, what I would do with that C4 I had you already made a video on it uh, is cut that off like dip that out cause uh, some, some of this right here would be too piercing especially when you start getting into the master stage and instead of them fixing it you fixing it already in the mix and then just getting technical with it but I like to mess with that. Now the API, dang good. It's dang good. I use this on all my chain, all my chain. So I want you. What I done? If you see down in the sixty-three to thirty-one, I take that out completely. The one twenty-five, uh, sitting at point seven two fifty point four five hundred range point five one k three point five, uh. 2k 4 point I mean 4 4 db 4k 3.6 8k 3 and 16k it's so now nah. I want you in my that's on bye, -bye. I want you in my lane what we got is true there's no lane I want you by my side you will be my bunny I'm your clay I want you Tonight, what we got right here? Love it, love it. You just heard exactly what this plugin was supposed to do. It's an equalizer, but it gives you instead of breaking it down mid, late mids, and all that good stuff, it breaks it down like that. But not only if you don't know, it ain't. It don't. It don't for, I'm talking for people that don't know, you know, low mids, high mids, you know, all that good stuff, highs and high, highs, you know, stuff like that. This plugin breaks it down in the same way, but instead of doing the low, mid, high, and all that, it says 16K, 8K, 4K, 2K. Didn't I just show y'all right here? Boom. 
these are the these are the ranges, right? 1k, 2k, 5k, 10k, 20. Boom. But up here, you got the lows, you got your mids, all right here, right? You got your highs right here, right? In the same case of this plugin. Right there, 2K, 500. Now we're going lower, now we're going higher. Same thing, and it's excellent. I want you in my lane. What we got is true, there's no lane. I want you. Boom. Now this SSL channel by Waves, excellent too. It's gonna, y'all gonna hear a difference in it. Let me turn it on and we'll bypass it and uh, solo and bypass, you know how that is. I want you in my lane. What we got is true, there's no lane. I want you by my side. You will be my bunny, I'm your clay. I want you. Tonight, and I'm on when I'm using that on vocals. I just use it on, I just use the EQ part. That, like, if you see, it's just four EQs right now, and two of them is boosting to give me that good find the sweet spots. That's what two of three of them is doing. That to be honest with you, uh, this one is the uh, you know, spec thing, whatever you want to call it, you can see it and all that good stuff. This one is the analogs, the analogs to give you that you know, good uh, analog feel. So that's three boosting, one's cutting, that's okay. I do a little cutting in uh, in this one right here, do a little bit of cutting on the end of the low end and stuff like that, too. And also on this, all of them, I'm gonna do some cutting because the low end is just always so muddy to me. Boom, three boosting right there. Now, when I turn by Pat, turn them on and off, listen to it. I want you. I'm going to turn the beat on. That way, y'all can hear exactly how it sounds with the beat. It already start being present. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no lane. I want you by my side. You will be my bunny. I'm your clay. I want you. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no lane. I want you by my side. You will be now, you ask me, you're probably wondering, why you EQ and boost so much and then you come back with a compressor and try to make that compressor work so hard? You know, that's a good question if you asking yourself that and asking me that and not actually leaving it in the comments. Because... Most people do the EQ first or the compressor first. It don't really freaking matter. Just make sure your vocals is all consistent all the way through and you ain't getting no high peaks and the dynamics is just all over. With no compression, you ain't even going to have in your face up front sounding good. Period. All right. And the reason why I do, I do it this way because... Like I said, I'm cleaning. I'm cleaning it up. I'm taking out all the bad frequencies within these EQs. Also, boosting. Between, I'm giving the good frequency. I'm boosting that because, let me get to it. Where I record in, I have to do it like this. I feel that's the best way I'll be able to get good vocals and then compress them. Because the environment I'm in, I'm not in no million dollar studio, thousands, hundreds, thousands dollar studio. I'm right here in the little house making making these vocals work, making giving people the good music that I can make. So I gotta clean all that up and then back though, let me make sure my vocals are consistent all the way through the hook, the verse, the whole song. It's all about levels and what sounds good to the people. So I do that and then come back with the compressor. Now, stop saying I talk too much. I'm helping the people that don't know nothing. That's just getting started. All right, let's get it. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no lane. What we got is true. What we got is true. What we got is true. You hear that? You just let me let me bypass the compressor. Listen to what we got is true. It sounds loud and it don't sound consistent. What we got is true. You hear that? What we got is true. 
now when I put this compressor on and watch it. What we got is true. That's no What we got is true. All sounds the same. Let me buy What we got is true. That's no lie. What we got is true. That's no lie. Boom. I know y'all just heard that. Let me do it again. I'm gonna bypass it. What we got is true. That's no lie. And you might say it's quiet. That's cool. I ain't trying to make these vocals loud. Loud is not working. If you if if the compressor's not doing something, you just crank it all the way up. Now you're throwing your whole mid level and mixing off. So what we got is true. That's no lie. Let's put the compressor on. Let's do it one more time. What we got is true. That's no lie. I want you by my side. You be my bunny. I'm your clay. You be my bunny. You be my bunny. Oh, there it is. That's one I can show y'all right there. That bunny. Listen to that bunny when I bypass. You be my bunny. <laughs> now let's. Take the let's add the compressor. Now, if I didn't have a compressor on there, you'll be hearing this in your ears, and it definitely will hurt your ears by listening to a vocal that's not consistent level. Yeah. All right. Let's get up off the compressor. I didn't beat that until y'all to to death because I just want to let you y'all know you know. Compressor is important, man. It's important when you, when you mix it. And uh, I'm giving y'all all the little secrets. I ain't, I ain't no, no need for me to hold on to this information. I can share it. That way we all can make good music and have good sounding music. Hey, you be my body. too major about the DS -er. nothing too major to say about it now coming back with another EQ and you asking me why I compress I come back with a DS -er. if you DS what you doing there you actually compressing the high ends right so I need to put a little bit more sweetness back on that high end that way it's back in your face and it's more present still because when you DS Press. I don't know if y'all know that, but that's what you're doing. You taking uh, the the uh, -er and only honing it in only on the high end part. Hopefully that makes sense. So let's bypass. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no lane. I want you by my side. You be my bunny. I'm your clay. All right. Another EQ, nothing too major about the EQ. This really works for me. I love the vocal popper because out of all these chains, once I get to this part, this brings the vocals back up, sitting right there in that pocket of the beat. If it's a tracked out beat, if it's two track, it still works for me. And then the revival, just to give me a little bit more sheen, a little bit more thickness back into my voice. You know, not want it to sound too thin, you know, like I'm just a a female artist with a high-pitched vo voice or something and want to sound thin. No, I need my bass. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no lane. I want you by my And then back, though. With this a plug in, I don't know if you hear the difference or not. If you see, I ain't got too much going on. 0.69, high mids 0.43, low mids 0.34, and then the lows just take it out completely. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no lane. I want you by my side. You be my bunny. I'm your clay. I want you. Just to give a little bit more sheen back in there. All these EQs. You asking me why? It's because I want my vocal straight in your face when you listen to my music. I love it. I love that effect when I'm hearing. 
uh, when I'm listening to music and I listen to all kind of music, I'm like, golly, man, how did he get it? Oh, because it sound that good. Well, you know, everybody got different studios and the way they record and professionals that have been mixing for so long. And I'm, I listen. I listen to the song first. You know, when I'm jamming music, I listen to the song. And then when I listen to it over and over, now I'm listening to the production side of it like, Dang, how did it get it sound like that? So I try to integrate that. It's like referencing. You integrate that, add a reference, and you're like, let me get my mix close to that because it ain't never going to be the same. Close to it, and we'll ride like that. All right, then I backed up with the Renaissance Compressor. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no lane. I want you by my side. You be my bunny. I'm your clay. I want you. I want you in my lane. Well, we be my bunny. I'm your be my bunny. I'm be my bunny. I'm your be my bunny. I'm your clay. Be my bunny. I'm your clay. Be my bunny. I'm your clay. I want you tonight. What we got right here? No ding. Now you wondering. Why you got that up so loud? Why is it on 5.0? And if you're not wondering that, that's cool. But in my headphones right now, I'm like, golly, that get a little bit too loud. Well, here's the deal. Leveling. Once I get that to sound good, now it's all about leveling. When I turn all these plugins on, it sits right there in the pocket. Now watch. Because you got so much stuff going on. Things start to get drowned out. No matter how much cleaning you do, it starts to get drowned out because you got the instruments going on, then you got five different tastes going on, and all that got to have its own pocket. So, all you hearing right now, you ain't even hearing this because this is as low as possible. What you hearing is just the first take, and the lead take is important, right? Be my bunny, I'm your cl- I want you in my lane. What we got is true. Now, well, let me turn all of them back on, which you didn't heard all of them already with me and all. But they all got to have this own pocket. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no lane. I want you by my side. Boom, right? It don't sound too loud now. With that lead sounding loud, that I love that because that lead needs it's the most important. That's the first take you took. You comped it. You made sure every everything was on beat, all that. Every clap you hitting, all that. That's why the lead has to be there in your face. And then I back though. Always gotta have the uh the high cut on there. Uh, low cut they call it on this one. I think. Let's see. They call it. Yeah, they call it low cut. Uh. Always gotta have that on there. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no low cut. I want take care of some of that more low boxing this. And I back though with the Renaissance. Uh Renaissance Fox. And this is this is this is gold too. This is gold right here. This is the treasure right here. And I use it on every mix. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no. Not only does it got a gate on it to control these spaces right here that you hear. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. I want you in my. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. I want you in my lane. There, the one is off. I want you in my. Lane. I want you in my lane. What we got is And then I backed up with the DS. I want you in my lane. What we got is true. There's no lane. I want you by my side. You be my bunny. I'm your clay. I want you tonight. What we got right here? No ding night. I want you. You got now. I'm, I'm wrapping it up. I'm sorry. I know I've been talking for a while. And it's been a while. I'm about to wrap it up. I just wanted to help the people that don't know about this, help them out. Now, the people that do know, y'all let me know, hey, you talking too much. I already know that. This is people that's just getting started. So back to this. Um, we're going to bypass just the lead vocal and these, these plugins right here. You can hear 
the mix part of it. Let's get into it. Turn that off. Turn that off. I want you in my life. What we? All right, let's turn it back on. Now here. I want you in my life. What we got is true. There's no lie. I want you by my. It ain't no shame in my game. I can't sing. And there's no shame to let y'all hear exactly what it sounds like with no beat, none of that. It's no shame, man. What the, what I need to be shamed for? I'm making music for people to to hear. And if I can show you the production side of it, there's not nothing. There's nothing perfect about recording something, messing up, and going back and fixing and all that. Nothing perfect about it. And you know, I've been doing this for a long time. I ain't never was good at rapping before. Now, nah, now nah, I'm now nah, I'm cold. But starting off, I was garbage. Even at mixing, you know, all this. Even at making beats, sucked. But you get better because you stay consistent at it, and you stay. You have a goal. You want to get better and better and better. That's why I do this music. Why I'm still doing music. Why I'm still doing beats. Why I'm still mixing. Other people's of course, and all that good stuff. I need to get better at what I do. So it's no shame of me showing y'all exactly what the production side look like. I want you in my life. What we got is true. There's no lie. I want you. You hear the the present, the crisp, the clarity it gives now compared to when it's nothing there. Even when I turn these off, you don't have that good crisp clarity sound to it i want you in my life you still got that boxiness you still got that muddiness going on compared to when you add i add that r vox and that uh low cut right there now i'm getting that crisp clarity sound that i was looking for in these folks. i want you in my life what we got is true there's no lie i want you by my side, you be my All right, now let's uh, turn these all on. Boom. I want you. Might start cracking, but let's get into it. I want you in my life. What we got is true. There is no lie. I want you. Let's do this, and then we're going to end it, man. See, I got a lot of stuff going on over here. But I know I've been talking too much, so I'm going to end it. I'm going to make another tutorial about the H, the hook, P, comp. Somebody's on the mic. Sorry. I'll make another tutorial about that and this, because I know this one's going too long. But... I ain't gonna leave nothing out in this mix. I done a lot of things in it, so I ain't gonna leave it out. All right, I'm gonna turn all that back on. I might start cracking here in a minute, so I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna play this hook. I know I did it in another tutorial, but I'm gonna play it real quick, and I'm gonna be back with another tutorial on the other stuff. Look, there I go cracking. Let me fix it. All right, I'm back. Let me fix. Uh, let's play this in there. We're gonna end it. I want you in my life. What we got is true. There is no lie. I want you by my side. You will be my bunny. I'm your clay. I want you tonight. What we got right here. No denying. I want you. You got me. Keep it real. There it is. Uh, that's it. That's it. That's all I got to show you all in this tutorial. I know you're going to say I talk too long. Hopefully you learned something from it. This is Double K Beast tuning in. Tuning out. Holla, man.